Welcome to the Global Interview. Thank you for listening. This is where you can keep up to date with all the latest news and information direct from leading creatives, leaders, and thinkers. We can help to keep you right up to date with all the latest information from interesting people who make a real difference in this globally connected world. You can find out more about the show at theglobalinterview.com. Enjoy the episode. Sarah Jane Vincent, founder and CEO of Miss Content Creative and Digital Tribe. Educator, digital marketer, data lover, go-getter and small biz mentor. Sarah Jane Vincent is a digital marketing expert, self-education mastermind, data obsessed, algorithm avenger, detail-loving self-care activist, determined as heck achiever, mom to a diva in the making and ultimate small business supporter. She is the founder and CEO of Miss Content Creative and Digital Tribe, a collection of high-converting social media and business templates for women entrepreneurs. She is also the founder and organizer of Digital Picnic, a leading social and digital media marketing conference. Her campaigns have been internationally recognized, and in 2018 she won UK Best Consumer Social Media Campaign of the Year. In 2019, she was shortlisted for the Social Media and Digital Marketing Excellence Award. And in 2020, Sarah Jane was nominated for Digital Woman of the Year and received highly commended Young Achiever of the Year. Social media is her passion. And her job. She is obsessed with teaching others how to succeed online and is always learning, experimenting and implementing the latest trends. Tell us about your current role and what you like about your career or areas of focus. I help small businesses get to grips with the ever-changing landscape of social media and online marketing. Right now, I'm working with a diverse range of clients to provide the funding and support they need to get online and generate sales and leads through social media. I love seeing that aha moment for them. That feeling when you scroll through the newsfeed, and you see your clients absolutely smashing it on the platforms, celebratory hands in the air, knowing the positive impact it has on their livelihood and our economy. What inspires you, motivates you, helps you to make each day count? I'm a lover of life, family and good friends. They mean everything to me. It's important to have someone you can turn to in order to bounce ideas off and cheer you on in business and in life. Outside of your professional work area, what hobbies or interests do you have or what other areas of your life are of real importance to you? Can't get enough of true crime documentaries on Netflix and obsessed with interior design. You'll find me outdoors or online learning the latest tech trends. I probably drink way too much tea also, smiley face. When it comes to your life chosen career, is there a phrase, quote or saying that you really like? Leadership is about making others better as a result of your presence and making sure that impact lasts in your absence, Sheryl Sandberg, CEO, of Facebook. What are you most proud of in your life? My daughter. And my husband. Overcoming my daily struggle with imposter syndrome so I can help others achieve greatness. What do you wish you had known when you started out? Niche down early. Focus on one thing, and do it well. Become an expert in your area. And hire a virtual assistant. Who do you most admire in business? academic or creative circles? I admire many people, but a few that spring to mind are Katrina Young, Lucy Hall and Amy McManus. They are the most incredibly amazing women I'm blessed to know. They are doing so much goodness in the industry to help others, empowering other women in particular. What companies, brands, or institutions do you like or do you think are getting it right? With hundreds and thousands of video views, Tyg Fleming, a young rising star in social media, has brought together a fun collective of Irish family humor that is guaranteed to hit you right in the fields. He, without a doubt, adds that much-needed humanistic and emotional ingredient that makes for a great brand and truly resonates with his audience. This is a young guy who is selflessly out there killing it better than big-name brands. His content is creative, entertaining, authentic, inspiring and good for the soul, smiley face. I also think Adidas is nailing it. They deliver a powerful message, and are advocates of change. I applaud that so much. What is the best advice you have ever received? Be a good listener. There is more to learn from talking less and listening more. 
My advice to others would be to always make people feel appreciated and valued. Whether that's in work or life, also, never stop learning and improving. And of course, be kind to yourself. What drives or motivates you each day in a work environment? Seeing others I've helped succeed, folded hands. What are your thoughts on the future of social media? We have already seen how social media has the power to amplify change, such as the recent hashtag Black Lives Matter movement. This is set to continue to shape our future. There are a want and need for transparency and more meaningful conversations from brands. And millennials expect brands to be the most transparent on social media. There has been a significant rise in communities such as Facebook groups being the go-to place to connect with your audience, and this is here to stay. The desire for personalized content consumption and interaction with brands is on the rise with verticals such as stories, TikTok and lives being the most popular medium. In recent years, social platforms have played a significant role in expanding e-commerce, and social shopping is now a big part of social media. Brands are seeing the benefits of using platforms to generate sales, and the biggins are bringing it to them. Recently we saw collaboration with Facebook and Shopify to help businesses launch branded Facebook shops to create a free online storefront for Facebook and Instagram. As consumers increasingly shift to online and mobile shopping to find the products they want. Tools like Facebook Shops will help users access products creating a frictionless shopping experience where customers don't need to leave the social media site to buy products. There's no doubt this trend will continue to expand in the future and is right on time seeing the uncertainty for many businesses during the recent global pandemic. What is your favorite social media platform, and why? Pinterest. There are so many reasons Pinterest is a great opportunity for businesses, and it's a highly underutilized platform. Pinterest is the ultimate search engine that improves your SEO ranking. And it has the power to drive a ton of traffic to your website. I recently did some Pinterest marketing online training where I share all my top tips, winking face. Do you have a mentor, or have you ever been a mentor to anyone? I work with several mentors. I think it's important to have a tribe of great people by your side. I've also had the honor of mentoring hundreds of business owners and entrepreneurs myself over the years. How do you network? What is your preferred way to network? I spend a lot of time online on Facebook groups. I also attend local networking events. I used to attend paid networking groups but not so much anymore. Masterminds are a great alternative. I'm a real people person. I appreciate a good old-fashioned conversation and if I can connect others, then I will. What advice would you have for someone looking to get into the same area of work? If I could offer some friendly advice, it would be to know your worth be careful who you trust, listen to your gut and stay true to who you are. There are enough people out there trying to be like everybody else. What do you feel is the most common reason for people failing or giving up? Not believing in themselves. Not having a vision. Not having a purpose. Not being consistent. Not realizing that small steps lead to big success. You've got to build momentum. Trust your hard work is unlocking doors you can't see yet. How do you define success, and what lessons have you learned so far that you could share with our audience? Being able to empower others by sharing my knowledge and expertise. Don't be afraid to speak up for what you believe in. If it doesn't align with your values, it's not worth it. What skills do you feel have helped you to become successful? The ability to relate to others and show my human side. And my mojo, winking face. Anything else you would like to share with our audience? We learn by doing, doing well, doing not so well, failing hard, and doing better. Is there anything new that you are working on or involved in that you would like to share? I'm working on a new product line of high converting social media and business kits for female entrepreneurs. These professional templates will allow you to quickly and easily grow your audience, get more sales and generate leads faster than ever before. I'm really excited about this venture as it's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time and the lockdown was the perfect opportunity to start, smiley face, find out more about the Digital Tribe collection. Thank you for listening to this interview on The Global Interview. 
You can join the Global Interview newsletter at theglobalinterview.com. Thank you for listening to this episode from the Global Interview. We appreciate your support. If you would like to find out more, please visit theglobalinterview.com. Thank you.